So today I want to talk about the difference between DOM content loaded and load. What is the difference between these two events and why you should really care about these things. So I have a simple web page here. Um, I've got a whole bunch of different things loading just to give a very good representation of an average page. Uh, I've got a script that's running at the top. I'm using the performance API so that I can get down to sub millisecond timing to know when these events are taking place. Because uh, I'm going to be writing this out in the console here. You can see that my DOM content loaded event took 67 milliseconds. My load event fired after 209. The load came after the DOM content loaded and it will always come after. And that's because DOM content loaded cares about the JavaScript here and it cares about the HTML. The browser gets the HTML, it reads through the HTML, it understands what all the elements are that are there in the DOM, and then DOM content loaded can fire. Load has to wait for everything else. It's got to wait for the shortcut icon. It's got to wait for your uh, links that are going to go to the CSS and the Google Fonts API to go get a couple of fonts. It's going to wait for any CSS that you have from content delivery networks or servers, your local ones that you're loading as well images that you have in your page, other scripts that you're loading, and then I've got my own script right here. And this script is really just writing out these. I've got two event listeners, one for DOM content loaded, one for load, and I'm writing out the time. So I'm just calculating from this point to when DOM content loaded and load happen, how long does it take? Now, you look at this and you say 67 milliseconds versus 209 milliseconds. This is still 0.2 seconds, two tenths of a second, not a big deal. And you're right, that is not a big deal. And if I were to hit refresh now, I'm getting half this stuff from the cache and well, I'm down to 69 milliseconds. So that's six hundredths or seven hundredths of a second, not a big deal, not a lot of time. And that's right. But I'm loading everything here locally from my local server so there's no distance for this stuff to travel. And I'm using content delivery networks and I'm on a really fast gigabit connection. So content is coming down to me in blistering speeds. I'm not on 5G yet. I'm not one of the lucky handful of places in the world that have that, but still with one gigabit, that's pretty fast. If I come to the network tab, we have a, a drop down here for throttling. If you open up this, you can see we've got a couple of choices here, fast 3G and slow 3G. Now fast 3G is still fairly fast and a lot of places, if they're getting fast 3G on their mobile device, on their phone, on their tablet, they're going to consider that to be good speed. So let's take a look at this page. I'll change it over to fast 3G. We'll come back to our console and let's do it again. Let's empty cache and hard reload and let's see how long it takes. Okay, so page is starting to load now. There we go. DOM content loaded. It fired after 1.6 seconds. That's still reasonable. 1.6 seconds isn't long, but I don't see the load event yet. This image is still loading. That one's still loading. This one's still loading. This one's still loading. We can jump over to the network tab and actually watch these things come in. You can see here on the, um, we've got the uh, overview is turned on here. So we're watching the overview and you can see all the different kinds of files here. Before I got to the five second mark, I had everything except for these four images. Now my load event still hasn't fired. I'm still waiting for these images. And I'm coming up now to 60 seconds there. A full minute has passed. My load event has not fired. Now imagine, okay, I just got the second image. Imagine if you had a script on your page for controlling a button click or a form submit, but it wasn't active and ready to use until you had the load event. So the load event fires and then you add your click listeners to the button and your submit listeners to your forms. Well, that's a heck of a long time. Here we go. I'm up to almost 90 seconds. So this took an incredibly long time to load all of these images, almost a minute and a half 
with my, yeah, there it is, 83.8 seconds. So 84 seconds for the load event. That was 84 seconds where the user couldn't click on anything. They couldn't do anything with your script because you used Ad Event Listener Load instead of Ad Event Listener DOM Content Loaded. Huge, huge, huge difference as soon as you get off of really fast the LTE speeds or 5G speeds or you've got one gigabit internet and you're hardwired into something or you've got Wi-Fi with one gigabit. Once you get out of that category where, yeah, okay, there's a fair number of people using that, but there's a lot more people who don't have those kinds of speeds. So this is why you want to use DOM content loaded instead of load event because it changes when scripts fire and it can make a huge difference to the usability of your page. So I hope that helps you out. I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below. If you start playing around with this, I do hope that you go into the network tab and try and make this a regular habit. Test your pages with the throttling turn down to at least fast 3G to see what effect it has on your pages. See how long people are waiting. If you get stuff like this, well, maybe you can optimize your images. Maybe you can see what are the big things on your page that are slowing everything down and try to improve on those speeds. You'll be happier. Google will be happier. Your end users will be happier. All right. So as always, thanks for watching.